Hi, this is Victor. Today we are at Bakersfield Divorce, and we're going to do a little card trick. This is Bree. Say hi, Bree. Hi. And I've got my cards. I'll show you regular cards. Okay. Okay. We're just going to mix them up a little bit. Okay, and then I want you to just cut off about half the deck. Okay, and then we will put this on and mark where that you cut to. Slippery brand new cards. And now, I want you to just think about it. Concentrate. What do you think your card is? This is a test of your psychic abilities. Um, Queen of Hearts. <laughs> okay. This trick is based on the fact oh. that people are going to say Queen of Hearts or Ace of Spades almost half the time. So we're going to do the trick again. Okay. And, so and you're not going to be as lucky this time. <laughs> so in this case, the reveal is going to be the trick. So I'm going to start out with the, the Queen of Hearts on the top of the deck. Okay. And as I shuffle, I'm going to pull the Queen of Hearts down, put it on the bottom of the deck, and then shuffle the other cards, keeping the Queen of Hearts on the bottom of the deck. This is called the crisscross force, because when she cuts the deck, cut off half the deck, and this is the card people think that they're cutting to, but I'm just putting the Queen of Hearts back on top. So I'm forcing her to choose the Queen of Hearts. And then when she picks it up to look at her card, she'll see that it's the Queen of Hearts. And then if the trick didn't have the first out, which is getting lucky and having the person actually name the card, I show that the entire deck goes back in here in my pocket. And I ask Bree, where's your card? In your pocket. And then I would just show that the duplicate is right there. So this trick demonstrates two principles. One is the crisscross force, forcing someone to take the card that, that I want. And the second one is the ace of spades, queen of hearts, it are the most common cards people choose. So if you get lucky, like I did with Bree, she named the queen of hearts. Thanks, Bree. You're welcome.